everyone this is Paul from Data Day Fixes we'll be installing this Lux Bidet Neo 320 Blue I just want to point out whenever using this product turn the dial to nozzle clean and turn the other dial to hot I'll explain more later this bathroom vanity doesn't have any legs the wood goes all the way to the bottom so we'll have to at least initially from what I thought is drill out on the side now I turn on the hot water just to make sure that I am dealing with the hot water valve. I checked and the water did stop running so we're good to go. For the cold side we'll be using the valve right next to the toilet. I shut that one off as well. Now I'm flushing the toilet to not have any water or less water inside the tank. Next is to remove your current toilet seat as shown. Also, since you're removing the toilet seat, take advantage to clean your toilet. Putting a small bowl underneath just in case some water drips out. Then I'm putting the proper splitter, which is for the cold water. The hot water has a different splitter. I tried to use the wrenches that came with the product, but sometimes they didn't work so well, so I used the channel lock I have. I'm also using the provided Teflon tape, putting it in the direction of tightening, in this case clockwise. Next we'll put the toilet seat back on, on top of the bidet. We'll put the screw through the holes and install the toilet seat as you would normally. Now we're going to install the cold water line into the bidet. The cold water line is on the right side of the bidet. I'm using the gadget that came right on the supply line to tighten the valve nuts on both sides. I turned on the cold water supply line and checked for any leaks. Everything looked good so now we're going to work on the hot water which is right underneath the sink. Here I also placed Teflon tape that was provided with the appropriate valve splitter. Here I used a combination of tools including the wrench that they sent, my channel lock as well as my hands. Now I was ready to make a hole on the side of the actual cabinet in this location to bring the white tube out but it turned out that there was space between the wall and the cabinet that I was just able to use the existing holes for the drainage pipe and place my water tube that way. Now the tube tried to turn or tangle up but just uh, try to untangle it and that's the drill and tip I would have used to make the hole if needed. There we go with the tubing between the wall and the cabinet and there's enough space that the tube is not being pinched. The hot water tube goes into the bidet on the left side and used that little butterfly gadget to tighten the nut. I'm pulling the excess tubing so that way it is inside the cabinet. Now it's time to turn on the hot water valve and check for leaks. Everything looks good. No leaks. Now time to test out the bidet. Whenever using this product you should turn the nozzle to clean mode and the water nozzle to hot so that way the hot water can come through the whole house and when you first turn it on it's not cold because anytime the water standing in the pipes it'll get cool so you circulate the water and then it warms up so now I'm testing everything out cold water hot water all good now we can turn the nozzle to when you actually use it and you can see that the water sprays out correctly. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. 
here I'm showing how there is a gap between the wall and the cabinet and inside the cabinet we have the excess tubing coiled up you could wrap a little zip tie around it